Hello everyone, welcome back to Ingenious Creations. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these keychains. Again, you can do any design of your choice, but I know everyone been asking how do you make the keychains with the QR code with the song that you can scan it and it goes directly to a um, link of a song that you linked on there. They are very easy to do and I'm going to show you today. I'll be showing you how to do it in Microsoft Word and you're going to see how easy they are, okay? Now I'll be doing a separate tutorial for Silhouette Studio, so stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. The supplies that you're gonna be using now, again, all this is a preference. You don't need to use all these. It's all up to you how you want to make them. You're going to need sticker paper. If you don't have sticker paper, then just use regular paper. You can use sticker paper so you can just stick this inside of your keychain. But me personally, today, I'm going to be using glossy paper. The kind of glossy paper that I like to use is the Office Depot brand. This is um, 50 pounds. I need to make sure that the glossy paper that you're using, it is compatible with your printer. I have an inkjet printer, but it's also compatible with laser. The reason why I'm using glossy paper is because I want both sides of my keychain to be able to have the image. And also that is why I'm going to be using my Xyron machine. My Xyron, it is a sticker maker. It is kind of expensive, but I mean, it's worth the money. This is how it looks. This is a nine inch Xyron machine. You could check down my Amazon uh, link below. Um, if you would like to purchase one, it's roughly around $40, but you can make a whole bunch of stickers. Also, I have a separate video where I do custom um, plates for parties, and I use this. Okay, so this is that. Of course, you are going to be needing your keychains. My keychains, I get them from Amazon, and this is how they look. They are two by three keychains. That's the measurements of these. If you want any other size, just go ahead and Amazon and check for any size of your choice. The reason why, like I said, um, I'm using my glossy paper is because when the keychains on, you know, when you're displaying your keychain, I want people to see my image in the back and through the front. So that's why I am using the glossy paper. You can use sticker paper and just put one facing that way. But then again, the kind of adhesive that you might use, you could probably use Mod Podge so you could be able to see it from the back, and which I'll explain that um, later on in the video. Um, you're going to be needing charms. Again, this is a preference. I got these paper clips from Dollar Tree, and you could just take this off and use it as charms. And again, it's how you want to display them. You can find pom-poms on Amazon as well. Again, check down the description. I have a whole bunch of supplies there on my Amazon. So pom-poms, different colors. Also, they got these on Amazon. These are chapstick holders that you can put on your keychain as well. And they're on my Amazon too. And if you want, I could do a separate video how to customize these. And you could put HTV vinyl with the person's name on it or their initial on here. Let me know. Comment down below if you want a video for that. But you can hook this on there as well with your pom-pom and stuff. And this is also a preference. This is sequence. You can find sequence on Amazon, eBay, even Dollar Tree. Again, you don't need to add a sequence. I'm just adding some to mine. All right, so now, all the t those are the, some of the supplies that I'll be using, and of course, your scissors and stuff like that. So let's get started in showing you how I'm gonna set everything up in the computer. First thing you need to do is open up your Microsoft Word, and I like to save mine in a different mode. So I will go to File. I will go to Save As. I will go to save as type Word 97 2003 document, name my file, and click on save. Now I am using a 2x3 keychain, so you need to make your template. You're going to go to your insert tab, click on shapes, click on the rectangle, make any size rectangle of your choice. Make sure your rectangle selected. All the way on your height on your right is going to say height and width. On your height, you're going to type 2.88 and enter. And then on your width, you're going to type 2 and enter. Now, you're ready to start designing this. For backgrounds of your choice, you got to go to Google. And then you're going to type in the background that you would like. This is just like a pastel background. Then you're going to click on it, your image. So this is all the background. So you need to make sure you click on one. You're going to right click and save it to your computer. Once it's saved, once it's saved, you need to go back to Microsoft Word. Make sure your rectangle selected. Go to the Format tab. 
go to shape fill you have an option to choose any of these colors or you could go to more fill colors and pick any of this choice or you could add your background so shape fill picture go to wherever you save your background click on it and click on insert while your rectangle selected go to shape outline no outline and that is right there now you're gonna insert your images some people are using the album and I'm not gonna use that because of copyrighted um stuff so you could just go to Google and look up for the album cover of your choice I'm just gonna insert a personal picture so I'm gonna go to insert I'm gonna go to picture I'm going to look for the image click on insert while your image selected go to wrap text in front of text and I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm going to crop some of this image out. So just while selecting, I'm going to go to crop and just crop some out. Place your the, um, picture where you want it. Then while my picture is selected on my format tab, it says picture border. I'm going to click on the color white where it says weight. I'm going to bring it to one and a half just because I want my image to have a border. Now I'm going to add an extra design to this. This is just, again, a personal preference. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to click on rectangle. I'm going to make another rectangle here. I'm going to go to shape fill, no fill. I'm going to go to shape outline and white. And then my weight, I'm going to put it to one and a half. And then I'm going to rotate this. While that rectangle selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on my image, right click, group, and group it together so I'm able to move this around together, okay? Now, while this um, image is selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on my pink rectangle, go to the format tab, go to align, and click on align to center to make sure everything's centered. Now, from here, you are more than welcome to start typing the name of the song. So, you're going to go to insert, you're going to go to word art, click on the first word art. I have a separate tutorial on how to download free fonts from the font.com. Just check down the description box. So just go ahead and click on the font that you want to use. I'm going to use Bodoni MT Black. And then I'm going to start typing the name of the song. Then once you type, you're going to click on OK. Go to wrap text in front of text and then you're going to size this. Now I'm going to be sizing it from that little circle on the side and just make it smaller. And then I'm going to go to shape fill, click on black, shape outline, no outline. Then I'm going to go back and click on that font. I'm going to right click and copy right click and paste bring it down then I'm gonna right click on that one and click on edit and then I'm gonna pick Bodomi MT for this one and then you're gonna type the name of the artist click on OK and then you're going to place this under the name of the song. And I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard. And that's how it's looking so far. Now you're going to have to do your line with the circle here. So you're going to make sure nothing's selected. Go to your insert tab. Click on shapes. Click on the circle. I'm going to make any size circle right here. I'm going to go to my height and I'm going to type 0 0.06 and enter. 
and then I'm gonna type 0 0.06 and enter and that's my little circle I'm gonna click on it go to shape fill I'm gonna color it black and then I'm gonna go back to my insert tab click on shapes I'm gonna click on the one that says rounded rectangle and I'm going to make a line now for this one my height I'm going to type 0 0.06 and enter and then on my width maybe I could do 1.64 and enter and maybe I'm gonna do the height smaller for this so 0 0.04 eh, maybe 0 0.2 let me see 0 0.02 and then color it black and that's how it looks so make sure you click on the circle hold down the shift key click on the line right click group and group it together and then is your line so again the measurements that I did for this line was uh, 0 0.02 on the height and the width was 1.64 and the little circle I did 0 0.06 and the width was 0 0.06 and that is there now you're ready to do your play button so you're gonna go to insert you're gonna go to shapes you're gonna click on the circle and I'm gonna make my circle 0 0.3 and enter on my height and 0 0.3 on my width and I'm going to color this black then I'm gonna go back to insert click on shapes click on another circle and then I'm gonna make a different circle go on my height and I'm gonna type 0 0.25 and enter and on my width 0 0.25 and enter hold down that circle hold down the shift key click on the other one go to align align to middle align to center so it could be centered click on the um, middle circle go to shape fill and click on any color of your choice that you want hold down the shift key hold down the other one right click group and group it together now go but um unselect it go to insert go to shapes click on the triangle make any size triangle of your choice i'm going to hold down my shift key to rotate with the little there's a little green circle there that you can rotate your triangle and i'm going to color that triangle black and then i am going to place it in the middle of the circles that i just did okay now click on that triangle right click copy right click and paste and then go back to your insert tab go to shapes click on the rounded um, rectangle make a little line right next to that triangle that you just made on the width I may be gonna put like um, 0 0.0 one and enter and try to make it the same height of your triangle so click on the triangle hold down shift key click on the line right click group it and group it together and then you're going to place that right here use your arrow keys to align everything now click on that triangle that we just made right click copy right click and paste move it to the other side and now I'm gonna hold down my shift key and then I'm gonna turn it with the green button the green circle that's there so it could be facing the other way and then align it I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to align everything And I'm going to group my plate button so I can able to move it as well. Okay, so that's how everything's looking so far. Now for your QR code, you need to go to Google, search QR code generator, and this is the free one. So I'm going to click on this one. Let me go back. So I just type in QR code generator, create free QR create free QR codes 
then from right here you need to um, enter the link of your song so I'm gonna go to Google I'm gonna type in I mean sorry I'm gonna go to YouTube and type in the song that I want after you type the song that you want you're gonna click on the video that you want it to be directed let me not play the it. two most common reasons people go to see plastic surgeons okay sorry <laughs> the ads are playing um, oh yeah someone else asked me on my previous video well are the ads gonna play yes because YouTube has ads and this is for the people that don't have Spotify if you have Spotify all you have to do is um, get the link from your Spotify song or your Apple song whatever you want the link from so once I click on my video now this right here is the link of this song I'm going to copy this go back to the, my QR code generator I'm gonna right click and paste it and now right here my QR code is generated but where it says logo I'm gonna put where it says scan me so it can look like this and then right here is gonna say download so I'm going to download it's gonna say your QR code is being generated please do not refresh or exit so I'm gonna wait a couple seconds to it gets generated So right here it says that my QR code is already um, downloaded. So I'm going to exit this out. I'm going to click here. So it says open file. Then I'm going to, <clears throat> sorry, right click. Save. Make sure you know the folder that you're saving it to. And I'm going to name it the name of the song. Click on save. Then you're going to go back to Microsoft Word. Go to insert. Go to picture. And then look for the QR code you just saved. Click on it. Click on insert wrap text in front of text and then you're going to place your QR code wherever you want now do not distort your QR code if you're making it smaller only size it using the the corner ones do not use it from the middle ones make sure you sizing it from here from the corners okay do not distort your QR code so you are able to read it when you scan it I'm gonna place mine right there and I am done if you want to group all this together you need to make sure you click on everything so click on your rectangle hold your shift key click the next rectangle click on the words click on the line your play button your forward button your QR code right click and group and group everything together and everything should move as one now from here you are ready to print but if you are making multiple because let's you don't only have to make them like this this is another one if you want me to make a separate video on different designs but this is just the song one that everybody was requ requesting so you could put as many as you want in one sheet so you're gonna right click copy right click and paste and then you're gonna paste as many as you want let's say you're doing this as party favors or bridal showers or if you're giving them for family and stuff like that put as many as you want I'm going to print two of them because I want my keychain to be able to see front and back. So I'm going to print two of them. Now from here, you are ready to print. So how are you going to go to print it? You're going to go to print preview. That is the magnifying glass with a paper on the top. You're going to click on the printer that you're going to be using. I have a workforce 7710 on my printer properties. I'm going to click the how I want to print. I always leave mine at premium presentation paper mat. I'm using 8 by 11 paper and I'm going to click OK. Now you can use sticker paper. You can use glossy paper. This is all up to you, which I'm going to show you now once I print. OK, here they are printed. Again, you could put as many as you want in the page. I think three more will fit here. Now, I don't think in the tutorial I told you guys how to put the heart, but you just go to shapes and click on the heart and put a small heart right here. 
And also another tip, do not make your QR code so small that when people scan it, they can't scan the QR code. So make it a good size, okay? Some people usually put their um, QR code around here, but I like mine's in the corner. Again, do not make it so small that it's not able to scan. And that is how the design looks. And now I'm going to cut it. And now, as you can see, this is why I wanted two of them so I could put one. But let me cut in, then we'll get there. Okay, here they are cut. Now, if you was using sticker paper, all you had to do was, you know, remove the um, paper from the back and just stick it right here in the middle. The only thing is that when you turn it around, you was going to see white. Okay, that's that's why the reason why I'm not using sticker paper because then in the back when you close this, you can see the image in the front, but you wouldn't be able to do see the back. And again, that is a preference. Now I'm using glossy paper so I can stick and just because also I love how glossy paper looks, but I'm going to glue these two together like this. And then there's one in the front and there's one in the back. So when the keychain is turning, pictures are on both sides. And if you don't have one of these, I know you can probably use Mod Podge right here. You could use Mod Podge and then put this one here. But to me, that is too much work. So I'm just going to use... I know they sell smaller Xyron machines. If you don't want to buy the bigger one, just get a smaller one. And the reason why I'm also using a Xyron machine, because if you use double-sided tape and put it here then you're going to be able to see the double-sided tape on the back, like all the lines of the double-sided tape. To me, that's not a clean, professional look. When you run it through here, your entire um, picture is going to be adhesive, okay? Oh, Lord, this got stuck. <laughs> but let me take this out, and then I'm going to run it through my Zyra machine. Okay, so I'm going to put one like this and one upside down, okay? And then I'm just going to push it in there. And then I'm just going to turn my um, lever. I'm going to turn it. And maybe I should turn it this way so y'all can see. So I'm just going to turn. Okay. Like that. And then this has a blade that you can cut. I'm going to use one of my squeegees just so all the adhesive make sure it's on it. So the one that's going to be facing in the back is this one and then the whole entire back is going to be adhesive and no one can tell how the adhesive looks okay so then you're just gonna pull this out okay so this one it's all adhesive in the back. I'm gonna place this one on top of that one. And now I'm going to remove the other one, both of them basically. And this is adhesive in the back. So you're going to grab your keychain. And you're going to place this one. Make sure nothing's dirty. <sighs> Clean it. And... Press. Okay. Okay. 
from here it's up to you again if you want to add some sequins if you're asking where i got this container um i got this container from harbor freight from a tool store so you're just gonna pick the sequence of your choice and i'm gonna pick some of this one don't add a lot because you want to be able to see your design I'm also going to add some sea beads, just a little bit. You don't want that much. And then you are ready to close it. And you're going to press down hard. Okay, from here, now you are ready to start adding anything that you want. If you want to add a pom-pom. You're going to add your pom-pom. So let me add that. And you're just going to put this, roll it in there, okay? And I did switch the color so it could match more. And also because the other one had gold and I wanted this one with silver. So that's how it's looking so far. And again, add your charms if you want to add any charms. But these are gold. So I'm not going to add any of these because, again, my fixings are silver. So let me get something that is. All right, I added everything I wanted to add. So this is the chapstick holder. I added a charm that says this, pray until something happens, and my pom-pom, everything's silver. And then now, for the moment, everybody I know been waiting, does the QR code scan. Make sure all your sequence is out the way. And my son is going to get the... Um, the scanner on his phone and you got to get just download any QR code uh, reader okay I'm just gonna scan the back because my sequence is being difficult and it doesn't want to move but anyways go ahead scan the front and then once you scan it it's gonna tell you this and then I'm just gonna click on open browser it's going to direct you to the song and I can't play the full song because of copyrighted issues Okay, and that's it. That's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload all my other videos. If you want to purchase anything from me, just follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Andrina's Creations. And also, if you don't have social media, just feel free to email me at andrinascreations at yahoo.com. If you're not in my Facebook crafting group, please go ahead and um, go enjoy it over there. It is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. And show me anything that you create, okay? Again, I hope everyone's having a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.